Okay, we're continuing on with 1.5 and we're going to talk about the check, guess and check strategy. This is a le perfectly legitimate way of doing things and this is a lot of what science is based on. You just try something and see if it works. Um, you know, so it may not be efficient, but it can actually get you the, the possible result that you want. Okay, so consider the following problem. We've got two turtles whose total age is 336 years. One turtle is twice as old as the other. What are the ages of the two turtles? Okay, now you guys may have your own way of doing this. I'm going to go ahead and go through it like they did. Um, so we're going to start out with what they say here in that the first turtle is 100 years old. We're just going to guess. Okay. All right. So the age of the second turtle is 2 times the age of the first, which means it's 200. So the first turtle's age is 100, the second one is 200, that adds up to 300, and that is not the correct total, it is too low. So from here we're going to modify and we're going to be smart about it. So since this gave us an answer that was too low, we are going to check for something higher. When you guess a new, what's your total? Oh, I'm sorry, this is lower. I jumped to the next step. Your guess should be higher than 100. So we're going to go to the table on the next page. If I can find my blank page that just came off the printer. Oops. There we are. Okay. All right, so we tried 100. It didn't work, so let's try something else. Um, it's too low, but not that much too low, so I think the next one I'll go to 120. So 2 times 120 gives me 240. When I take 120 plus 240, that gives me 360 which is too high. Now we're playing a little bit like Goldilocks. We had one that was too low and one that was too high. So we're going to want to guess somewhere in the middle here. Uh, <coughs> 336 is closer to 360, so I don't want to necessarily go halfway in between. So let's jump to 112. 2 times 112 is equal to 224. So 112 plus 224 is 336. So this is just right. So Goldilocks has found the bed that she wants to sleep in. If I want to write this in a complete sentence, the first turtle was 112 years old and the second was 224 years old. I know they live a long time. I have no idea if they live to be 200 years old or not. <coughs> I know at least 100. <coughs> okay. We did not do this example in class, so I'm going to slow down a little bit and make sure that we're all okay with it. On here, let me see if I can get this adjusted. Okay, last July, your electric bill was two times the amount it was in December and 42 less than it was in August. If the total of all three bills was $537, let me turn on the light, that'll make it easier. What was the bill for each of the months, July, August, and December? Okay, now it tells us to guess the July bill. We've got to start out by guessing something. So we're going to guess the July bill. Why was it a good choice? And I'm going to tell you it is because you are given December and August in terms of July. So December and 
August are both compared to July. So that's where you want to start. Now, I'm hopeful that as you're doing this, you might even try it and um, do it on your own. Now, if you think back on the turtle example, since one was twice the other, and you were, I would have thought by just taking it and taking a third of it, that would have been close. All right, and that would have been a good thing to start. So, and 112 is a third of the total. Here you're dealing with three things. Maybe you want to do the same kind of thing. You want to take 537 and divide it by three. It doesn't divide evenly. So for my first attempt, I am going to just start out with 180. Okay, now we have to calculate the bill for December. Was the July bill more or less than the December bill? It was more expensive. So the December bill, since it is going to be less, I am going to have to divide. So here I'm going to take 180 divided by 2, which gives me 90. Now, when I read the problem again, it says July was 42 less than August, so July was less expensive than August, so I'm going to take the July bill and add 42 in order to get the more expensive one. So if I have 180 plus 42, that gives me 222. So if I add up 180 plus 90 plus 222, that gives me 492, which is low. So my attempt number two has to be more than that. And I'm off by uh, a little bit, so I think I'll start out this one with maybe 200. I'm going to follow the same procedure. I'm going to take 200 divided by 2, which gives me 100. Here, I'm going to take my July bill plus 42, which gives me 242. When I add them up, I get 542, which is high. But it's close. It's within it's $5. So I know it's going to be a lot closer to 200 than it is to 180, so I'm not going to jump back in the middle. If it takes you more than one step, that's all right. Um, I think what I'll try this time is I'll try 196. Now notice, since I'm having divide by 2, I'm always picking even numbers here. It may not turn out to be like that, but I think it will. Okay, so 196 divided by 2, the July bill divided by 2, is 98. The July bill plus 42 is the August bill, which in this situation is 238. When I add all those up, I get 532, which again is low. So I'm just going to try again. Sometimes you're going to get lucky and you're going to, you know, sometimes you just get a feel for it. I'm going to try 198. So 198 divided by 2 gives me 99. 198 plus 42 gives me 240. And that gives me 537, which is what I want. Now to save time on the video, I'm not going to write this out in a sentence. I think you know how to do that. The July bill was 198. The December bill was 99, and the August bill was 240. Okay, and I am going to switch videos again before we do number 7. You might even start out and try number 7. Notice they give you no information at all.